Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Today we're going to work on the topper for the journal. I showed you guys this, but you know, just in case you're just now started watching, we're going to put this book cover, the front of it, on top of this book. And this is the book we'll use for the journal because it's a little bit bigger. And then I changed my mind yesterday, or I think it was yesterday, I showed you guys the snowflake uh, fabric. I'm going to use ticking instead. I think it um, matches up with this better. So that is what I'm going to do. So all that will get covered up. You won't even see that. Mostly all you're going to see is just the green. All right. Oh, you know what we should do actually first real quick is cover the inside of this. I found this in my uh, scrapbook paper. I found this um, candy cane paper and I thought that would look really cute in there so let's do that first and the first thing I got to do then is measure this so how is everybody I hope you guys are doing fantastic I am doing well just working and running errands and all those fun things so we need to go about nine by six roughly for each each side yeah, so I hope you guys are doing awesome. It's windy, kind of cool here today. Um, it wasn't too bad when I got up and I walked and everything, but it was definitely windy this morning and still is. I'm trying to cut as straight as I possibly can. I figured out, I think I kind of moved the handle when I cut yeah, it's, it's totally user user error. I know that. So six was the width on that. Try to hold it straight too. That helps. And then it was nine. Yeah, so I don't have anything real exciting happening. Just... Um, you know, just doing my thing like I always do. Oh my goodness. See, this is what I don't like about these. I gotta go fast. I'm probably still gonna have to trim that up. Okay, I'll use scissors for that. Not that I'll cut any straighter with scissors. But... Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just break down and buy another one of the sliding cutters because um, I don't have mine anymore and that one just doesn't cut very straight. Well, when you come to these skinny little bits, it doesn't. I do prefer the guillotine because you can cut through more sheets of paper and things like that, but I just need to break down and buy one of those more, like all I can think to call it is industrial Fiskars style. Okay, so I, need, I do need to cut a little bit more off of that. Yeah, gonna have to do it. Maybe I can bug the hubby for one of those for Christmas. We all need like that do this book binding and all that, like some major cutters, I'm telling you. Okay, so that'll go there. This one will go here. And this will get covered by um, fabric or cheesecloth or something. So I'm not that worried about it. But I do need to cut some off of that too. That was a long, a long bit of difference. So yeah, I know all this stuff is, you know, not the most exciting part of the journal making. But I do think it's important because I do have quite a few new people and I just want to make sure that everybody knows how you do this stuff because it's important. I can save those for tags. So 
that is a good thing. We're going to ink it. I'm going to use vintage photo. I got a new vintage photo and I do have one of the foamy things to ink around the edge. Just a little on that to cover up the white is all I'm really wanting. Yeah, so we'll get these glued down and then we'll do the topper and we'll have the cover pretty much ready to go. I won't um, put the fabric on it until um, until I sew in the signatures because it'll cover up the, the strings that way. I'll use this. I'm going to use just PVA glue. I do try to keep it kind of thin. I push, you know, the point of the glue onto the paper a little bit just so that I'm not getting it too, too thick. I mean, I'll still have some probably come out the edges and whatever, but you do kind of want a liquid glue. I feel like for this part, I don't feel like it'll hold long term with a glue stick on on these covers. And again, this was just some scrap paper or scrapbook paper that I had. So just use whatever you got. You can even print um, kit pages on cardstock and that works too. And I have had recently um, one subscriber, and I'm sorry, names always escape me awfully, but that wanted to know if I print digitals and ship them out that way. Although I would love to be able to do that, I'm lucky to get my printer to work um, long enough to print out <laughs> digitals for myself without lines. So unfortunately, I just don't have a setup where I can do that. So I don't offer it because it's, like I said, I just am lucky to get a good print for myself and I don't have time to fight the printer all the time, you know, and, and it does waste a lot of paper when they don't print right because obviously I'm not going to send that to a customer. So I just don't have the ability to do that, although I would love to be able to do that. And I'm sorry, because I know that stinks, because everybody's doing digitals now, so it's just, it's hard. What I need is, like, a company that <laughs> would do that, you know what I mean? That would be handy. Printers are a real fight. I'm not going to lie. I mean, they're great when they're working good because, like, my, I have an Epson Eco Tank, and when it's working, it's fantastic. But the problem is, it really does not consistently work well. But I think that's all of them. They're all kind of like that. Sorry, I keep thinking I've got everywhere, and then I look and there's spots where there isn't this way. These don't really matter. They're kind of going this way and that way in every way, but I always got to make a glue mess. It's like my, my thing. that glue around good. Who knew a statistics book could be this cool, right? <laughs> oh, statistics. Took that in college and that just about wrecked me. I'm not going to lie. That in Spanish class. <laughs> those were the two. Those are the only C's I ever got in college was those two <laughs> classes. I'm going to try to just get a little glue under here too. 
Yeah. Barely made it through those. I tried Spanish. I mean, I really tried with Spanish, but man, did I struggle. I just think some people are good at learning languages and some are not. I can understand quite a bit because like when I worked at the school, I could help with the kids that spoke Spanish, you know, like telling the teacher what they were wanting or whatever, but I cannot speak it. So I, I wasn't much help because <laughs> I still couldn't tell them what they needed to know. Uh, the kids, that is. I did try, I really did. I can't even spell in my own language, so. Okay, I think that'll be just fine once we get a fabric or, you know, right across the middle there. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of the white there, but man, that's That's a little stinker, huh? All right, so there's that part. So we'll just set that aside and let it dry and we will work on our little tiny book cover. I love this book cover. So I don't wanna like cover it entirely because I don't know if you can tell, but it's all like embossed or I guess is what you would call it. I like it. We're just gonna kind of put a little something in the center here. So this was out of one of those books. Let me see if I can find these type. I don't know if it was out of this one, but it's those Christmas um, books. You can get these on Amazon and other places that have all that old ephemera in it. So that it's where I got it. And they were, it was really thin, like, um, I think I want to sand it a little bit. Where's my little sanding disc? Um, like magazine page almost, and it's even a little bit shiny like that. So I just uh, folded a book page, glued it together, and backed it so it's got a nice thick, you know, much thicker now. And I think that will be better. I mean, I'm going to glue it all the way on there, but you know, sometimes you might get a little edge that sticks up a bit so if you're going to put it on the cover you don't want it like magazine thickness right so we're going to have that something like that and then this santa is the santa out of the new kit the kids at christmas the 12 page that goes really well with the christmas 1933 kit it's a nice compliment because it's got this Santa, a whole bunch of kids. I didn't do adults because I just, I love, kids are what makes Christmas fun, I think. I always feel like ours are a little, our Christmases aren't as exciting anymore because the kids have grown, you know? It just sort of isn't as fun when you don't have little ones because they, they're the ones that have the most fun, right? I think. And this is just burlap that has, um, it was like ribbon, Christmas ribbon with the berries and holly on there. I think I'm just gonna kind of put that like that. That's gonna go a little tilted. Our Santa here. And then we're just gonna put all kinds of little goodies with it. But I wanna get these, definitely the back two pieces glued down. Might have to or yeah, plug in my glue gun for some of those little bits. Oh, that is going to go under there, huh? About here. I'm not sure if that's going to stay on with... my glue gun. Try to get it warmed up here. 
I want that up higher, actually. I'm going to try to just put a little bit of this here. Because I don't want to see it through the holes, so I'm just going to kind of put the glue at the top there. And get it within the frame of that. I don't know how well that's going to stick. I hope it sticks. If not, I'll have to go back in with um, hot glue. I should probably cover my stamp pad so maybe that one doesn't dry out in like two weeks. And this, I can't remember who, this is just all stuff I found in my stuff, but it's like a do not open until Christmas. And it's a digital I got somewhere, but I don't remember where. Until December 25th, right? Santa's got all kinds of packages there. I have this special delivery too, might be fun. Maybe I'll see it on that side. I want to make sure you can see the toys. I like that. Hmm, I don't know if I want that on there. I'm going to put a poinsettia on there, and then I just have a little piece of lace, and I had, yes, a candy cane that I think I want on here. Which way does this go? goes like that. And I have some little bitty bits from Tim Holtz too that I pulled out in the reds and the greens just to add some extras. I like that um, the clustery look with lots of lots of bits and pieces you know. Not that these are Christmas things but I think I'm going to staple these. I forgot and was going to just glue it all together and then put it on there because often I will um, do some stitching. But I totally spaced it, so. My tiny attacher that and then maybe I'll do another staple here oh I didn't ink those did I I'm just all goofy up today well every day really <laughs> let's be honest <laughs> mm. I've heard some places have gotten snow. I think it was Nikki. Were you telling me that, Nikki? Oh my goodness, snow. No, thank you. I am not ready for that. Definitely not ready for that. I know it's November, but I don't feel like it should be November. <sighs> I'm just having a struggle this year. Not ready for it. I'm not going to put it in. I'll just put one more staple on this, and then that'll be all the staples I'll use. Because we don't want... We don't want a million staples. I do think I want that little, that little snowflake lace down there. All right, so let's get this glued. And this is just on paper paper, so it needs to be in a nice flat location. Do not open until December 25th. It does say Christmas delivery, so that's good. That's fun. Because you're not going to see the whole thing. Because Santa's going to block part of it. 
This will help hold this fabric on <laughs> because uh, glue doesn't always work great. Oops, I wanted that up higher, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Just making a mess. Yeah, it needs to go a bit higher still. Pay attention, Amy. And then this, I will put glue on the snowflake. Across here. Is this thing hot yet? No, see, that's the thing I don't like about hot glue guns. Requires too much planning. But I might have to go back and put a little on those because I don't know if those will stick. Okay, and Santa's going to go right here. Oh, poinsettia. I was like, what am I missing? That's what I need the glue gun for, for sure. And I also backed this Santa with a folded book page. Just, you know, to make sure it's good, hopefully. Hopefully. Plus it just gives it a little more dimension. You could pop it up and stuff, but hey, on covers, I just really don't like doing that because if you use it at all, you don't want it catching on things all the time. You know? So it's better to try to get it as flat as you can, I think. not loving sticking to that cover or to that um, burlap. Oh, come on, you little stinker. They do take a while to get hot. I was gonna do that and then I spaced it and see now I'm making you guys wait while it gets hot. It smells hot. It's just not really wanting to put the glue out there. Um, these poinsettias I got at Hobby Lobby one year, usually in their Christmas department, not the crafting department. Well, I'm sure you can get them over there too, but um, I go down those Christmas aisles first, and that's where I found a little bag of those. Okay, so that's what we have for our cover plate. I may have to go back in with more glue. We'll see. We shall see how it holds. That is going to go on here. I think we'll use hot glue and I love that too. It's always so hard to decide what in the world to do with all this. Like you want to use every bit of it because you're probably never going to see it again. So hard. So we'll use the PVA and we will use some of this on the corners and hopefully that will hold it well. Put a little bit right here. Don't use a lot of hot glue, but for certain things, it can be very handy. Trying to get it sort of central <laughs> as possible anyway. It's hard to tell because the this book is kind of dinged up. It's this red book. So it doesn't really have like corners <laughs> to speak of. Okay, I think that 
looks pretty good. There's a little glue right there. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, I forgot to say hugs and blessings, you guys. I am awful. I am so sorry. I want to say hugs and blessings to Tina, Vicky, and Tracy. Thank you guys so much for your support, for watching my channel shopping at my shop. I really, really appreciate that so, so much. I feel very blessed to be able to do what I do. So thank you so much. And welcome to new subscribers and welcome back to those of you who have watched me for a short time or a long time. So we're just going to hold this up to kind of get an idea what it's going to look like. I'm, I don't want to, because like I said, I want to wait till I sew signatures before I glue the fabric on. But we can get an idea of what it'll look like with the ticking. I love ticking. I always leave just a tiny bit extra top and bottom. I just like the way that looks. But that's a personal preference whether you want it the exact size or if you're more of a like a quilter or something like that, you might, um, you know, like that and you can cut it perfect. And it may still trim off a little bit, but I'm just trying to get an idea. So yeah, I think that's going to be cute. Very cute. So that is what I have for you guys today. This is all nice and dry in here. And then we will just continue on with the making, but I really like that. I really like the way that came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and we will chat again soon. Love ya. Bye.